Well, can you walk us through that pass to Brandon Boyd, the 29-yarder on the on the left sideline? What what you saw and what you were thinking? Uh, he had said that he thought 21 was hurt, thought we could take a shot, and gave him a chance. He made an amazing play. How much fun was it to go up against a former teammate and a guy that you have a lot of respect for? It was great. Uh, I mean, going against their defense, but to have that head-to-head -head matchup uh, was a great opportunity. Colin, you guys got the win, but can you just talk a little bit about the struggles with the red zone? Uh, as long as we win, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter. Were you, were you able to see the, the results? Did you see him come down with the ball? Yeah, I did. He, he talked about the, the trust that you have in him. Um, it's the chemistry you developed uh, over the course of the, the season so far in Brandon Lloyd. Just, just to throw that ball up and trust that he's going to be the guy that comes down. He's a great receiver. Uh, I mean, he has a proven track record, and I mean, he's been talking to me that we need to take a shot, and he's going to go up and get it. So at some point, you have to trust them and just give them a chance. Did Colin, both of you guys, uh, if you could address this, just the, the balance of the offense. You know, you guys made uh, plays in the passing game, plays in the running game. Is this kind of how you envision uh, this offense for the final, you know, as, as for the rest of the season? Wow. Well, you know, like I, like I said before, you know, we're willing to do whatever it takes. You know, if we got to run the ball, pass, pass the ball, we all going to fight for each other. And, you know, we may play in both. So that's a, that's a great thing for the team. Colin, could you address that as well, just the balance of the offense? Yeah, we're going to do whatever it takes to win. Uh, it's a lot easier to throw the ball when you have Frank and Carlos running the ball as well as they did today. I have to come off the field. Let Phil Dawson come on. Are you frustrated or are you excited to see what he can do? Uh, we always want to finish with seven points, but I mean, when Phil comes on the field, we're confident we got three. Yeah. Well, what would you think of that fake punt and how big a play was it to convert it? That was a huge play. Uh, allowed us to go down, get the three points at the end to force them to try to get seven, and it took a lot of time off of the clock. Pretty gutsy play, I would guess. Pretty deep in your own territory. Uh, very much so, but our special teams did a great job executing. Got us the first down. Frank, maybe you can answer this. Big, big difference from last week. Some, some unquestionable and some, some questionable offensive penalties um, with uh, hand placement and some blocks and whatnot. Anything significant that changed this week? Anything you guys practiced this week as far as techniques with that to avoid those? Frank, what does it mean to you to, to be able to dominate a second half on the on the, on the ground like that? What does it say about this team? We some dogs. <laughs> <laughs> now you know we got a you know old line. You know, we played great, but um, we got to give it up to them. But like I said, you know, 49 of football, do whatever it takes. You know, we knew that we had to get the you know eat up the clock, and we did. Um, me and Carlos did a great job on the ground, and like I said earlier, the cap did a great job in there. So we just you know, played great team ball. Frank, obviously, if you guys had the answer, you'd fix it. But what are, can you put your finger on anything yet as far as why you guys slow down in, inside the red zone? Um, I can't answer that. You know, um, <laughs> we just we got to get better. You know, watch the watch the tape and you know clean up what we got. You know, whatever it is, but we just got to get better. Here, in Miami guy, but how hot was it? Out oh there? man. It was hot, but I like it like that, though. I like it like that. Colin was saying you definitely want to finish with seven <laughs> points, but w when you move forward, you have some, you know, primetime games coming up. W what do you change, if you can, to assure that as opposed to bringing out field goal team? That's just execution. Uh, I mean, you have different schemes for different teams. Uh, you have to go out and make plays. A couple more for these guys. Oh, it'd be interesting to get both here and Frank's uh, feelings about Jim Harbaugh because he's so demonstrative, so emotional. It's fun to watch him on the sideline. He reminds us so much of a college coach. What's it like playing for a guy who is not going to hold back anything? You know where you're standing with him. Uh, I mean, I love Coach Harbaugh. I go to war with him any day of the week. 
competitor. I mean, he, he's a competitor. He wants to win. Yep. And he's going to do anything to put this team in a position to win. Colin, it looks like a lot of things tightened up today. Special teams, defense, plus the offense was solid. Can you talk about how the team came together today? Uh, we played all around good team ball today. Our defense played great. Special teams played well. Our offensive line, running backs did a great job. And our receivers made plays. Seems like in the running game, you guys were able to get them outside and inside. Did you, did you feel like you'd be able to exploit that versatility during the week, or was that something that you guys kind of adjusted to on the fly? A lot of it just depends on the looks we're getting and what they're seeing. Uh, they're going to see a crease or see they can bounce something, they're going to take it.